What is up you guys, it's your girl Felicia XO. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time seeing my face, welcome, it's a great time here. All right, so today I am doing a synthetic wig try on haul. I've done an Amazon wig try on haul in the past, but this time I actually went to my local beauty supply store and picked up a few wigs. This, I literally picked these up by random. I literally saw the lady and then I was just like, yeah, just give me all the cheapest wigs you got, the synthetic wigs. I didn't even open any of these up, so we're gonna see how these look together. Hopefully they look okay, hopefully I can work with them, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, in no particular order, we're gonna start with this wig right here. This is by the brand Impression, and she said this was the very last one they had in stock at my beauty supply store. That's the style and the color and the name. Straight off the bat, it looks very shiny. Okay, so I just removed the net, and then inside it's just a sheet of paper. This looks like a, oh my God, it's a half wig. I was not prepared. I literally have, I have like some old cornrows I was about to take out underneath this. I don't have any leave out in the front, but I guess I'm gonna still try it on. I didn't even realize I was buying a half wig, it struggles. Anyway, this is how it looks on the inside. It has a giant clip in the front, which is what I like, so it keeps it nice and secure. The back is this really, really cute color. I love how I'm just like ripping everything off. If this was like my human hair, obviously I would go get scissors, but clearly I don't care enough about this synthetic wig to do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. This, this is something. This is most definitely something. I feel like, I feel like I look like an auntie. I feel like I look like someone's mother. The color looks really nice on me. Honestly, if I could straighten my natural hair and it would be like this exact style, like obviously with like a natural front, I feel like that'd be really cute. But yeah, I'm so sorry guys. I literally don't have any leave out. Even if I did have leave out, like I wouldn't look that good. I'm gonna play around with it and then I'll get back with you guys in a second. Okay guys, I'm back. Because I didn't have leave out, I went ahead and got a headband to put over it so it would look semi-decent. But I do still feel like it looks terribly shiny. And the point of this video is to get wigs that are affordable for anyone to wear and sort of turn into something cute. So I'm gonna use, this is the only powder I have. If you had like a dry shampoo, that would be ideal. But this is just a translucent face setting powder. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it on my hair and brush it through in attempts to get, take the shine away to make it less fake looking, to make it less wiggy. This is a lot of powder. I don't know, <laughs> oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, now the hair just looks white. And I always have a fear of brushing synthetic wigs because I thought like they're gonna get too big. But you know what? It does look a little bit less shiny. I'm gonna do my whole head. I literally got the powder all over myself, but I really do feel like this is making all the difference. Okay guys, so I just applied the face setting powder to my hair to make it more like matte and natural. And this is how she is looking. Not bad at all. Honestly, I might wear this wig actually like in real life. And that is so shocking coming from me guys. Cause when I tell you, I literally haven't worn synthetic hair for as long as I can remember. Maybe like my first sewing in middle school was synthetic hair, but after that I was human hair all the way, human hair with hundred percent. But this would be a good wig for me just to wear like running errands. I don't even know if I was in frame, but one thing I like about the wig is that it is super duper flat. It's pretty voluminous. I really like it. I actually think it looks very, very natural. Um, I rate this wig after I did all this to it. Honestly, an eight out of 10. I say you should go buy this. By the way, I'll be linking all the descriptions to the wigs down below, probably from various sites. Cause like I said, I found it at my beauty supply store. So I'm gonna do some online research on like digging to see if I can find the links for you guys. So obviously this video can be helpful. And we are going to move on to the next wig. This is the next wig. It is Soul Trust in the style Zoe, as you can see. I actually know the brand Soul Trust, so I was really excited to get this one. So let me just open this up and see how it looks. Oh, 
This is mad cute. Packaging is very, very nice. I'll probably just rip it apart. Whenever I try on short wigs, I tried on a short wig in my last Amazon try on haul video. I'll link it up here or in the description or whatever. But I always feel like a different person. So I'm really excited for this one. So this is how the inside of the cap looks. It is just a simple netting. They have this like, I don't know what this is at the top. I have the little soul trust tag on the inside as well. Oh, okay. So this is how we're looking. This is a little bit snug. I will say straight off the bat, I'm having trouble putting it all the way to the back of my head. Probably because I just have a large head, but I think this is so different. Like who is she? I literally look like someone's auntie. This is ridiculous. Wow. For all, this is, this is kind of cute. Whenever I wear wigs like this, I always feel the need to cut my hair. I don't even know if I'm wearing this right. That's the thing. Like, I feel like, I feel like if I were to cut my hair like this, it'd just be like a lot of maintenance. If anything, I would cut my hair and do like, like a cute like wave. I feel like it would look better if I put on like some earrings or, you know, I accessorized it, made it look a little bit cuter. But honestly, it's not my favorite. Uh, I really wanted to like this one, but I really don't. I rate it a three out of 10, which is pretty much a fail. I'm probably gonna give this to like my mother or something or not, or just like throw it away. I think it's a no for me. I'm just gonna say it's a no for me. I like the concept. I feel like the first wig got this one beat. Anyway, let's just rip this off and move on to the final wig. All right, y'all, so this is the final wig. It is by It's A Wig and it is, see, this is what I was looking for. This is very helpful when they put the picture of the wig on someone so you know exactly how it's supposed to look on you, you know? But it is a style lace luxury. I believe this is another half wig. I didn't intentionally buy half wig. Tangle free, it says. Tangle free, we shall see. It's tangle free. <laughs> oh, so it is a lace front. Okay, okay. So I'm removing it from the netting here. This is literally a lace front. Like I'm gonna have to get some scissors and cut off this lace. Wow, I am very impressed. Oh, it comes with a lot. Look, all the paper, all of, it comes with this. I don't know what this is for, probably for protection and okay this lace is very very hard it's obviously not like your human hair lace front wigs but i'm just surprised they have lace period like at all like i could really um i'm actually gonna really try to style this one like i'm gonna lay down some baby hairs cut some edges and i'm gonna get back with i'm trying to decide if i should cut the lace and then put it on my head or put it on my head and then cut the lace I don't like to cut the lace too close to where the hairline starts, just so it doesn't shed too excessively. Straight after the bat, I can literally feel the scratchiness of the lace on my forehead, which I really don't like. However, I am going to go ahead and get my little gel and lace the baby hairs and I'll be back with you guys. All right, y'all, so I'm back. I went ahead and used some mousse to ever so slightly lay some edges near the front of my head. It's very, very light and I just wanna make it look somewhat natural. In regards to the wig itself, I think it's just okay. And I say that because one, it's extremely, extremely shiny. Maybe I could get like a dry shampoo or a powder or something to put inside of it to make it like less, you you know glossy and wig looking and to the frontal itself it's supposed to go from ear to ear however it falls short you can see the little beanie bees so if a gust of wind was blowing then i would be in trouble overall i probably rate this wig eh, four five out of ten it doesn't really get a high rating just because of those two reasons but it is very cheap it is very affordable and if you just need something to throw on and like rinse and air in, like little things like that, I feel like it's like a good, a good option. I'm honestly really not feeling like this frontal. It looks very like, 
I don't know, like Benjamin Franklin type. <laughs> no, but I am going to put my headband on this wig to see if that makes it look any better. It makes the wig look a little bit better. Obviously this particular one doesn't match the outfit I'm wearing right now, but you could just throw on like a black one or a solid color one or anything of that nature. But like I said, overall, I feel like the style of this wig is very dated. Like I tried to run my fingers through it I'm not really feeling like the curls in every direction type of look. But I feel like if it wasn't as flip there, the flop flip, I don't even know what's going on with this wig. But yeah, this one is definitely my least favorite out of the three. All right, y'all, so that pretty much concludes the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I'd be more than happy to film another one of these videos. I might start making it a series, we'll see. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for our usual. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.